What this do last time on the dyno? Uh, around 800. We we're having, as you know, lots of problems with it slipping or spinning on the dyno. So uh, we have some really old dry tires and we just couldn't get it to hook and we weren't really prepared to kind of push it that high. So it was like right around 800. I think the highest it showed was like 805 wheel, but. Uh, we don't really know. Okay. And then we went to the track that weekend, and it was just an abomination on the weekend. So. Yeah, everything was junk. So. Yeah. We did get a higher mile an hour, but we couldn't get the 60 foot. Yeah. Time. What was the best pass? High nine. That weekend. No, that weekend wasn't nine nine two. That weekend wasn't nine two. Oh, yeah, we couldn't get one seven six foot. Yeah, we're trying to get better. Our best time right. didn't happen. That's right. That's right. So future plans are to try, obviously, to run an eight. And yeah. you're thinking it's taking a thousand horsepower to get to that? No, definitely not. We've got enough power to make it. Yes, no. 100%. If we had good 60 foot that last weekend, we would have run an eight. But all the masses would have been there. But we're not just trying to run an eight. As you know, we're trying to go fast. Um, so we're going to do some upgrades. And we just decided to do a little bit of filming while we talk about some of the things that are going to happen. So one thing is, as you've seen in one of the previous videos, mm -hmm. I got a new turbocharger for this thing. Can you handle that or what? Barely. Didn't look like I was having that hard of a time in it in the unboxing, so. Yeah, yeah. So this is it. She's heavy. So this is Precision's next gen 6785. This meets the class rules for uh, what we're doing with this car and what the plans are after this car. So um, this is too heavy to hold, but to give you an idea, it's a little bit bigger than the one we got in there. Um, so we're gonna change the turbocharger this year. I got a new bottom end getting put together. We're doing a whole bunch of stuff on the new setup. Um, also, before we switch this turbo, I'm gonna switch to solid lifters and as weird as that is we've been revving this thing as high as like 8700 i'm pretty sure i i had it set lower at the end of the year but we've revved it as high as 8700 8, with stock hydraulic lifters so switching to solid lifters should give us hopefully a little bit more power and some more economic to work with as well since this thing is a bigger exhaust housing bigger turbo we're gonna need the, all the RPM we can get. So I got the necessary items for the new turbo setup. So that existing one is a three inch that up, up uh, what does it do? Uh, step up. The turbine housing is a three inch outlet on that current turbo that's on the car. It's going up to a four inch, although the rest of the up pipe is four inch. It's gonna be four inch all the way now. So new V-bands, it's hard to believe that. That that's uh, gonna be that large. And then same for the uh, intercooler piping. Um, off the turbocharger, the outlet is like three and a half inches or something like that for the charge pipe. So got the proper clamps and the fittings and stuff needed to redo some of that stuff. Before we do anything with um, the new turbocharger, the new engine that I got in the works, we're going to test out the hydraulic lifters. I think I tested touch on this already, but um, so we're going to use the same turbocharger, same motor, completely same cams, everything. Exact same setup we were running last. Exact year. same setup that we ran last year. We're just going to do the solid lifters to see what we can gain out of it. The end of the season, uh, we lifted the head, 
Are you going to rev it? Appears it to, what's sorry that? to cut you off, but are we going to rev it to the same? Basically, you're yeah, going to rev gonna, it the same way too, just to see if it gains power, do just by having the solid lifters. Yeah, do everything the same. Because obviously, then, it's going to make more power if you rev it out. Or, right, and we'll probably rev it out towards the end. But we lifted the head at the end of the season. We did make another pass or two after I cranked the headsets down a little bit tighter, but. Um, we could never get the car out of the hole. So anyways, the head needs to come off, so we're gonna redo the head gasket, and we're gonna put it all back together the same way with the new lifters, and see, throw it back on the dyno, and see what we can get. The season here, with everything going on in the world, it hasn't been very promising, so the car got kind of pushed aside and haven't touched it, but it's lifting a little bit here, and... Um, Every day it's getting a little bit better and better, yeah. for our province for anyway, us, so. Yeah looks more promising that there might be some racing and not no racing yeah so i mean right now the goal is to try to make a thousand horsepower at the wheel so this isn't a big thing in the volkswagen world there's plenty of guys in the u.s that have made that kind of power there's one or two guys in canada that have done the same thing in front sport front wheel drive volkswagens but we want to try to do it on a 16 valve None of those guys have here anyways, I don't think in North America. VR and 180T? They're all VRs and 180s, yeah. yeah. So, it's a big task. I'm asking for a lot out of this thing, but um, we're going to try to do it, and we've got some good parts to put on it. And then, to kind of talk about the, the new motor setup that we got, the new engine program that we got in the works. I won't get into too much detail on it yet, but... It's pretty standard stuff. We're gonna do aluminum rods, um, the blocks all ring like normal. There's a whole bunch of stuff that's already been done. Forge crank, billet mains, all the big stuff. So, Which, what are the upgrades from what you have now to what not a whole you lot. are going to? Not a whole lot. The setup yeah. already has, you know, the boost line rods. And, and there's a previous video, I'll link it above, where it's like the first video we tried to <laughs> start doing YouTube videos, so it's me awkwardly talking about this car. Again? Um, yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, in the past. Yeah, so um, if you want to know more details about the car, I'll link the video above but and the engine setup, but it has boost line rods, uh, 11 mil studs, um, and so it's good for decent power now, but we're going to try to upgrade that a little bit further. This will be a backup motor when we go and race. Yeah, which is good because it held 800 so it'll be you know even if we have to push it to try to get if we're having a good weekend well sorry a bad weekend to try to make a good weekend again yeah we can still crank it up and if yeah i think this engine setup would have more in it i think part of the reason is we ran out of fueling this used to be on james's uh 2.55 cylinder and uh i think his best pass on that turbo charger was uh at eight 88 or 886 or something like that so he would have been making even more power than what i am on this setup but that turbo is now going on my buddy greg's car which is a mark ii you'll see here we'll have a video of it in the future when that comes to get tuned again the goals are to run eights for sure in the car the goals are also to try to make a thousand wheel horsepower with it and then if that all happens this will probably be the last year for this car. We have something else in the works, hence why I selected this turbocharger size. Because technically for the class that we're in, we can run a 72 mil. There's a reason I have selected a 67. Um, and for the guys that know the class rules and all that, they'll probably put it together why it's going to be a 67. So, but haven't you been saying like for probably two years now that this is going to be the last year for this car if it runs a... I think yeah, the first it just never runs I think, I think, well, no, I think the first was it's nines. You only wanted to get nines out of this car. That was a, obviously like two setups ago, but... I think I legitimately said I never want to run an eight. I have no interest to run an eight. And then we went nine so easily. Yeah, it's And true, then deep actually. nines on medium power, we ran a 9.20 at with 700 wheel horsepower. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of pushed why well, I want it to go a bit faster. And everybody else in the class is going way faster. Yeah. And the, the thing is with it, as lots of guys know locally, but the only reason this happened was, um, as Clayton would know, I pulled this engine out of my Mark I Rabbit. Clayton maybe will throw a picture in here because I started to do an all-wheel drive conversion on it. And 
that engine had made 500 wheel horsepower at the time in that, in that car. And that engine was just sitting on a stand, like, because I had planned to build a new engine for the Rabbit. And since it was sitting on a stand, I was like, why don't we chuck it in a car to go racing with it? At least we'll have some fun. Yeah, because you were racing your, your Rabbit a little bit too here and there. So. Yeah. So once I decided to try to put that in a car and go fast, Snowballed. It just completely snowballed because the Volkswagen transmissions and axles are junk. So then you start investing money into the stuff that's going to handle the power. And then here we are, like trying to make a thousand horsepower with the stupid thing. But Mark threes aren't my thing. And I have no power in the car again. Awesome. So. Uh, We'll run it hopefully for another season and finally run an eight with the thing and uh, try something new. And when this engine comes out of this, it's going in something else that's going to be a whole lot more rowdy, hopefully. Yeah, well, the power and weight and all that stuff, I mean, obviously, if this makes a thousand, it's going to be more than rowdy enough. It's just the problem is, like, again, this class, the true street class is everywhere is getting faster and faster so although this may sound like a huge thing to try to make this kind of power in this car this is lots of guys are doing it yeah. not lots but a handful there's plenty of guys that are faster than this car that have been doing this stuff for a long time so yeah. and if you want to know any of those guys just watch any of the uh, MIR videos and yeah World Cup they all go on. there <laughs> uh, Mike James Todd uh, there's a couple others Zach they're from last year, Zach, and uh, you know those guys have been going fast for a long time. So uh, Ricardo as well. So nice. um, yeah. Anyways, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel here. We're just trying to catch up to the rest of the guys. And, and then also trying to catch up to the Hondas, which is over. Yeah. So the, the <laughs> neat thing is that in Canada, where we are, for those on the internet, um. In the 67 mil class in Canada last year, we were six quickest, and uh, like in the top 10, and all other cars, sport front wheel drive, 67 mil, were all Hondas. Yeah. We're the Air only Volkswagen in the list. Yeah, everybody on that list was a Honda. Yeah. Yeah, and then in the, I think in the US and Canada, we were like sixth or eighth, I can't even remember. Um, and I think we were the only one on a 67 mil for Volkswagens. For and then what about for 16 valve? There's, there's nobody in, nobody really, really that we know of anyway. That's not in the US and Canada, but like I think in Puerto Rico and in Europe, that's the engine. The 16 valve is what they're all making here. Yeah. And the quickest uh, front wheel drive car is that yellow car. I can't remember the name. Maybe we'll add it in here. Is it a Polo or a Lupo or something? Yeah, it's a Gull. Gull. Yeah, that's running a 16 valve also. So, so wastegate staying the same. You're changing the up. A pipe, I guess it is. Uh, yeah, I just gonna modify this to be four inch to match the four inch on that side. Which it's four is it four inch now or five inch? This is four inch, three inch to four inch. Okay. Um, the manifold, I might change one runner on the manifold. Actually, I didn't, I didn't tell you any of that yet. But um, I might change one of the runners on the manifold. Why is that? Just fitment wise and the way it runs now. But the manifold, I'm fine with. The only thing that we're gonna have to do. This turbocharger is a little bit beefier, a little bit heavier, so we're gonna have to put some more bracing on it. Um, the bracing we have on it clearly was enough for this, but we need to redo that because it was a pain in the butt anyways, dealing with the cables and stuff on the transmission. So. Yeah. I'll probably redo, you know, catch can and the coolant bottle and stuff. There's a bunch of stuff that needs to happen to this thing. Oh yeah, we need a uh, much bigger catch can. So that was kind of peeping out last year a little bit. There's a bunch of stuff that needs to happen with it, but um, this is the start. So um, hopefully we'll go faster. So I guess a couple more things. Tires are good for this year, you think? You're not going to do anything uh, for tires? Maybe need, rear skinnies. But. I need skinnies. I need another set of skinnies. Uh, we may put a new set of tires on it. I don't know yet. But yeah, next video. Of this thing will probably be on the dyno. We might film a little bit of doing the salt lifter stuff, but um, and maybe with the head off. Yeah, we'll probably have some of that footage. But the real goal is just to get it on the dyno, do a little bit of testing with it, and then do the whole new setup. And 
see how much I hurt my own feelings not being able to make a thousand dollars back. We do appreciate everyone following and subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to ask them below. Don't forget to hit the like button, as they say, and subscribe. Every bit helps, so uh, it takes a long time to do these things. So yeah, be sure to like and subscribe if you got any questions. As I mentioned, Clayton, anything else to add? What no. am I forgetting? Probably lots, but... We're going to try to make 1,000 wheel horsepower in this ugly Mark III. What are we doing? What are we talking about? What's the plan? Quest to what? GoPro, start recording. GoPro, start recording. Fucking thing. Gonna keep this. Oh my god. Here we go. Start fucking shit up. Did we do an outro? No, not really. You cut me off. Maybe. No, I cut myself off. Rob, that, that's, that sounds more like it. Anyways, until the next video. Drive safe for you. What do I say?